Hello folks, we're going to take a look today at our premier flagship fountain pen, the Osprey Milano. Featured here is our Koroi Opal Acrylic Special Edition model. If you unscrew the barrel, you'll see that it comes with a standard international style cartridge converter. One of the unique distinguishing factors of our new units are they are threaded and interchangeable between our Milano and Scholar fountain pens. They're easy to disassemble and switch if you want to change up your writing style. It's really easy to unscrew and swap nibs with the Osprey Milano. Here you see us switching up the medium nib unit with a fine nib unit. Reassembly is quite easy with the standard international converter plugging right in and the barrel screwing right back into the body. Here you unscrew the cap, get your Zebra G nib unit ready, and it is a simple swap. And we are ready to go. To fill your Zebra G insert, simply unscrew the barrel and dip the end inside an ink barrel. Make sure that your piston converter is all the way down and fill it as you would a standard international standard converter. Using your Zebra G insert on your Milano is just as easy. Gently unscrew the Milano section and the 2019 Zebra G insert fits right in. For some hammer time. Today, we're going to review how to swap your Zebra G or Austria F nib from your 2019 Flexbird insert. The materials we're using today include our Osprey Quick Swap Nib Block Kit. This is a fancy term for a kit that you can and should be able to make at home on your own. Always save money, but in case, we also offer the nib block and replacement Zebra G nibs on our website. Today's kit consists of nib block, Osprey Flexpert insert, hammer of choice, a piece of chopstick, and grip tube. It's a great way to safely and efficiently swap your nib. Dip nibs are sharp, and this process can help prevent damage to either feet or nib when you do nib swap using a nib block. All right, folks, it's hammer time. So how do you use the Osprey nib block? And it's that easy. The first thing that you wanna do is you wanna line up your feed and your nib correctly. A proper orienting procedure is to line up the side cut on the Zebra G nib with the last fissure. Once you line up the fissure with the side cut on the nib, put them both partially into the insert. Then what you do is you place the end of the Zebra G feed and nib into the semicircle cut rubber grip tube. Pinch and hold it firmly and push in the feed and nib. Place your unit into your nib block and take a look at the back. You want to make sure that you've pushed the feed and nib inside enough that the end is flush with the end. After you have reassembled the Zebra G insert, make sure you inspect it, check the positioning of the feed and nib, make sure the side cut is aligned with the last fissure. 